All right, so inverting a chord simply means to rearrange the notes in any given chord. So for instance, if we have a C chord, um, the root position, that's C, E, G, and then we can play that E, G, C, or G, C, E. So we didn't change or add any of the notes in the chord, we simply rearranged the order of which we played them. Okay, so there are three reasons why this is such a big deal. Number one, it grants us freedom around the piano. We're no longer stuck playing our favorite chord in one position. So for instance, that C triad, you can move it around the piano like this. Number two, it allows us to fit chord progressions together in cohesive and ergonomic ways. So take a listen to this first example where I play a chord progression. Now take a listen to this example. So you can tell right off the bat, the first example, I'm jumping across the piano playing every chord in true position. And the second example, I'm using inversion so the chords fit together. Not only does it sound more cohesive, but just from an ergonomic standpoint, your hands are not jumping around the keyboard. Um, so this is only possible by using inversions. Number three, it allows variety, okay? This allows variety and movement. What I mean by that is, let's say you wanted to stay, let's say you have a song or a phrase that you're playing and it oscillates between two chords. Let's say E minor seven and B minor seven. So without inversions, going back and forth between those two chords would sound like this. It didn't sound bad, but it was repetitive and after a while that gets monotonous. Using inversions, we can actually play the same two chords. So we're not changing chords, but we're simply rearranging the notes. And because of that, it gives us a different sound and it adds movement without actually changing the chords. This is a very, very, very big deal and will consume at least 60 to 70% of your piano playing and harmonization. So check out this second example where I go back and forth between the uh, same two chords but this time using inversions and listen to how much more lively it sounds and how much more melodic and how much more of a phrase. The chords now start to speak a phrase rather than just be stagnant positions. Check this out. Inversions don't just have to do with triads. Inversions can do with any kind of chord. So it's simply the art of rearranging the notes, not adding notes, not taking away notes, but the notes that are there. So if you start with the four note chord and you switch the notes around and it's still got the same four notes, that's an inversion. Um, if you are talking about the way to specifically play a chord, that's a voicing, but we'll talk about that in another lesson. Make sure you take time to practice your inversions in all the different keys, just to get familiar. Um, obviously it's up to you and how deep you wanna go with it, but I use inversions all the time. not stress how important they are. It's a very simple concept and it seems very basic, but it's the foundation for a lot of creativity and exploration in music and across the piano.